Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making shrimp balls. It's a very popular ingredient that you can get from the frozen section in Chinese supermarkets. Besides shrimp balls, you can also find pork, beef, meat balls, squid and fish balls are also popular. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make that tender and moist shrimp balls. At the end, I will also share some simple ways that you can use this ingredient in different recipes. So let's get started. A lot of people think peeling shrimp is difficult. Not if you do it the right way. Use your thumb to open up the shell one by one from the head side all the way to the tail. Then you should be able to pull out the shrimp meat completely. There you go. Stick a toothpick on the back and pull out the wing. You usually save some money by peeling and deveining shrimp yourself, so it's not a bad thing to learn. Besides that, you will also need a small piece of skinless pork belly. Get a fatty piece. The shrimp and fish are really lean. A little fat will give you a better mouth feel. Slice the pork belly and pre-dice it into these little pieces. I got two pieces of fish fillet here, roughly cut it into smaller pieces. I'm using trout today. I just like to add another type of protein in this recipe, so the kind of fish doesn't really matter that much. You can use whatever you like. Place them in a tray, but leave a third of the shrimp on the cutting board. Everything else, pop them into the freezer for 40 minutes to drop down the temperature. We're gonna roughly dice the rest of the shrimp. Doesn't need to be super fine. These small bits of shrimp will give so much texture to the final product. Set it aside. Now let's make my favorite aromatic water. You will need 5 cloves of garlic, 5 small slices of ginger, and a quarter cup of water. Blend them into a puree. Pour that into a sauce bowl. Then keep adding 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, and 2 teaspoon of fish sauce. You might ask me, isn't that a Thai ingredient? Actually, fish sauce is quite popular in South China, especially in Chaoshan cuisine. I also add a little white pepper at the end. Mix that again. We can stick this into the freezer as well, just to keep it at a low temperature. The meat has been sitting in the freezer for 40 minutes now. Take a look. It's cold, but not completely frozen. Part of the edge is half frozen. That is exactly what we want. The purpose of doing this is that when you turn on the food processor, the machine will produce heat while working, which can slightly cook the seafood. So the ingredients needs to be as cold as possible. Add everything into the machine, along with one egg white, two and a half tablespoon of potato starch, one tablespoon of sweet potato starch. You can switch them with the same amount of cornstarch. The texture might be slight different, but it's not going to change the final taste, so don't worry about it too much. Some crushed ice. This is also to help lowering down the temperature and prevent the ingredient from the heat. Last, pour in the sauce we just made. Cover the lid and blend everything together. Make sure the ice is melted completely. Total, I let the machine run for about 4 minutes. This is what you are looking for. That looks really good. Now we're gonna add in the diced shrimp. Mix that in and set it aside. Get a pot of water. Manage the temperature around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to poach the shrimp balls instead of boiling them. If you don't have a thermometer, 
You can take a look of the pot. There should be some small bubbles rising up from the edge of the pot. When you see that, the temperature is good. Wet your hand with some water so the meat won't stick to your hand. Grab some shrimp paste and squeeze it into balls. Scoop it out with a spoon. Release it in the warm water. You just keep doing that until you finish. Once you're done, turn the heat to high and bring it to a slight boil, not a full boil. Turn off the heat and put all the shrimp balls into ice bath to stop the cooking process immediately. Wait for it to cool down completely. What you have made here is a half-done food product. You cannot eat them like this. You need to cook them furthermore. A good shrimp ball should be a little dense, but not rubbery. Open it up. You can see those little bits of shrimp. Looks really nice. Now you have your shrimp balls made, and let me show you how to use it as an ingredient to complete a meal. You can make stir fry with it. Just slice it and brown them like how you would brown sausage slices. Sprinkle whatever seasonings you like. The shrimp balls are delicious as itself, so no matter how you cook it, it's gonna taste good. Look at this, nicely seared, and it's very tender. Tastes so good. Sometimes I don't feel like cooking. I will make a quick noodle soup. Add some chicken stock. This is the egg dumpling that I made not so long ago. We'll use two pieces of that, and a few of the shrimp balls. By the way, they are freezer friendly. Don't need to defrost. Just cook them directly. Cover it. Bring this to a boil. You can use any type of noodles. I'm using instant noodles today. Yes, there are times that I'm lazy and I just want to eat something. Cook the noodles until it reaches the tenderness you like. Grab any seasonings you have on the counter: a little bit garlic, some soy sauce, some oyster sauce. A big spoonful of chili oil, actually two big spoonfuls. <laughs> Put in the noodles. That right there, already smelling good. I will use the stock to blanch a few pieces of greens to balance the diet. Look at that! Not only it is quick and easy, but also it's surprisingly delicious. There are many ways to eat these shrimp balls. I hope you give it a try soon and discover your own ways. As always, the recipe is in the description down below the video. You can go check that out. Thank you for watching until the end. I want to quickly talk about a new resource I have for you. I got lots of comments asking me about the ingredients and tools that I'm using to make this easier for you. I create this Amazon storefront page. You can click into each category and see common ingredients you will need. Here, I wrote a little comment for each product, so you can easily understand what recipe you can make with each ingredient. This page doesn't let me customize everything, so it's not perfect. But hopefully, this helps you. Let me know any feedback you have on it in the comment. I'll put the page link in the description of all my videos, so you can go check it out whenever you need. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.